Hello and welcome back to my channel, Not Your Average Sex Talk. I know that last video I said that we would be talking about the anatomy of the uterus and the um, internal reproductive system for people with vulvas, but uh, I changed my mind. We <laughs> I thought that it would make more sense for me to do this video first, um, just chronologically. I thought that it would make a little more sense. Um, address, there was no video last week. I got sick. Caden got sick, Caden's my partner. Um, we both got sick and I quite frankly didn't really have time to film, so I didn't. Uh, and it was super hot here and it's usually not that hot here. So I was extremely tired too, um, <laughs> but I'm back. So today's video will be about how to properly clean the vulva, not your vagina, the vulva. Uh, and I will go over that. If you haven't watched the previous video about the anatomy of a vulva, that could prove very useful for this video if you don't already know the anatomy. So, um, I made a very interesting model for you guys out of clay because I thought that this would be easier for me to demonstrate with than a piece of paper. So, the vulva down here would be your vagina. Up here where you kind of like can't see because this is just a diagram of the vulva. Up here would be the mound. So, you can wash the mound with soap and water if you would like to, your like body wash on a loofah, you can use that on your mound. But when it comes to the actual vulva, so like what is in between your legs, do not use soap. Don't use douches, don't use soap, don't use any other like cleaning product. I know some things say that you can put it inside of you. No, you don't need any of that. And actually, quite frankly, it's harmful to have a lot of that. Your uh, vagina, so inside of you, is uh, acidic. So it has a certain pH, which just means that if there are other things in that that aren't the same pH level, that it can throw off that pH balance and give you UTIs, infections, etc. Uh, and then you'll have to go to the doctor, and that's just not super fun. So. To avoid that, don't use anything in your vagina ever. Don't put water in your vagina, don't put soap in your vagina, nothing. Nothing goes inside of you, unless like instructed by a doctor. Nothing will go inside of you, especially for cleaning purposes. Don't put anything that cleans inside of you. No, it won't work, <laughs> it won't be cleaning anything. So this is the outside anatomy. You also won't be using soap for this. This you can wash with water. You cannot wash your vagina with water that is inside of you. Don't put water inside of you. That can also be pretty harmful. Um, but this, the outside, you can wash with water only. So in order to do that, you will take these outside lips and kind of pull them back from the inside. Again, this is clay, so it's like sticking together but you will pull them back from the inside lips and get in between here, in between here. And then right here is the clit. I made it kind of huge on accident. Um, so ignore that too. But see here, you can kind of see there's that clit right there. And then there's this flap of skin above it. This isn't completely accurate to what a vagina will look like, especially because everybody's vagina is different. But if you place your fingers on the side of the clitoris like this and gently kind of pull up towards your mound, the hood will move and then you can clean under the hood, which will be kind of around to the clitoris. So again, you will pull back this lip, clean in between here, pull back this lip, clean in between here, and then like this, pull the clitoral hood up and clean under there as well. Um, in between the two middle lips, here, in between here, sometimes can get some dirt and schmuck in there. You can clean that as well. Again, just with water, you can use a soft rag, like a, a face towel, but super soft. You'll want it to be soft, trust me. Won't feel good if it's not soft. It'll, it'll be scratchy and you just, you won't enjoy it at all. Um, <laughs> or you can use your fingers. You can just kind of take water and wipe, you know, that'll work or um, some people will just use the water and like the shower head. Sometimes just the uh, pressure from that will clean the area. So all of those are options. You should be washing your vulva like daily preferably or whenever you shower. I know not everybody showers daily. 
Um, so whenever you shower, you should watch your vulva. Um, again, no water inside of you and no soap on these areas. Okay, no, no soap. It, what you're, if you're wondering what you're cleaning for, you're cleaning out um, discharge, which is what your vagina makes to clean the inside of you, the vagina itself. So inside of you is self-cleaning. It'll produce um, a sort of liquid that will be excreted from the vagina uh, called discharge. And that just cleans out the inside of you. Um, and sometimes discharge can get built up uh, can get, I know some people will have like marks on their underwear, like sort of a uh, whitish mark, and that's just like discharge, possibly dried discharge from the day. Um, so discharge can build up in that area, in those areas, and get kind of stuck. Um, so you want to clean that off. Some other things that you're cleaning off, maybe toilet paper, um, just little bits of toilet paper can get stuck there too. It's commonly referred to as schmegma. Um, so like if you go in the Urban Dictionary and look up schmegma, that's pretty much what you'll find. Um, penis owners have schmegma too under their foreskin. Um, so not the same substances, but still should be and needs to be cleaned off from that area. So yeah, you'll get build up in those areas because they're connected to your vagina. They're all in your underwear, you know, um, totally normal to have all of that and also totally normal and needed for you to clean <laughs> okay thank you guys so much for tuning into this video hopefully i will see you guys next time and hopefully next time i will actually give you the video that i told you i will be giving you which is the anatomy and reproductive system inside of people with vulvas um so it would include the uterus thank you guys so much and thank you for bearing with my uh, weird modeling methods i uh kind of can't afford to be buying like hundreds of dollars worth of uh, medical anatomy diagrams. So I'm working with what I got, which happens to be some modeling clay, uh, paper, pens. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. Um, and I will see you guys next video. Bye-bye.